Nolan King here for Flow Combat at the Twin River Casino in Lincoln, Rhode Island, alongside Matt Bissett, uh, former UFC fighter, also uh, CES champion, former C CES champion. Uh, here at the fight, CES 54, you were uh, in the corner for Jesse Mealy's fight today. Uh, you were also her manager, I understand now. Uh, what were your thoughts on her overall performance tonight? Uh, today, yeah. matinee yeah. card. Today, it's yeah. a matinee, right? Um, I thought she did really well. Um, there are a few things we can go back and uh, look at the tape and assess. Um, hopefully, we can overcome that and uh, you know, develop from that. Um, but she did really well. I'll give her like an A performance, very well. Yeah, I thought she looked great as well. Uh, how tough was Kylie O'Hearn though? I mean, she took some big shots in there, hung in there. Second pro fight, young girl. Think think uh, some big things are in the works for her at some point. I hope so. Yeah, she's cool too. She's got a um, she's uh, she got that like little bit of thug to her. Like, yeah. like, fuck you, fuck you. Like, yeah, she's, yeah. yeah, I like it. I like it. Yeah. It's good for uh, it's good for TV. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, maybe uh, CES women's belt, too. I think uh, maybe that might be something that Jesse's interested in going forward. Uh, yeah. 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 I'm talking to Pat. Yeah. I'm, ta I'm always talking to Pat, so we'll see. Yeah. All right, well, enough about other people's fights. Let's talk about <laughs> yours a little bit. Uh, you know, the, the news just broke. Uh, you broke it yourself a couple weeks ago that you're no longer a member of the UFC. Um, you know, how frustrating was that? Because I know, you know, the last time that you fought was in July. It's been a while since you've, uh, you, you, that you've been on the shelf. Yeah. Was it frustrating sitting around in limbo without any clue what was going on to, to hang around and then have that happen? Yeah, yeah. And uh, I didn't realize until probably December that the reason that they were keeping me on um, and didn't actually, you know, cut me way back was because of the USADA, mm. right? because of the USADA. The contract you have with them, you have to, you have to do the full year. So um, if like something, if they needed like a, a last minute replacement and like the 20 guys before that couldn't do it, mm. then I would get the shot. Like, so it'd be, it was a very small chance I was actually getting another shot. And I didn't know that until, you know, two months into me being in awesome, awesome shape. Um, so. It is what it is, but um, you know, uh, on to bigger and better things. Yeah, absolutely. I think you've handled it like a pro. Uh, you know, nothing new for you. You've done. You've you've always handled yourself like a pro in your career, and uh, I'm sure you'll continue to do that. Which poises the question: What's next? You know, I'm. I, I saw that you did a little bit. Of, uh, you did a fan poll. You added some uh, potential future promotions that you'd like to be a part of. I know you were looking for maybe a Japanese, you know, rise in something like that, but people spoke out and they said PFL. So, uh, I mean, what are your thoughts on either one of those promotions? I mean, um, <laughs> it, as an MMA fighter, especially one that was, um, has been around for like over a decade, looking at those like big, huge entrances, like Bellator's got that Titan Tron, Titan Tron and like Ryzen's got that with the flames and the, you know, the walkout ramp and stuff. That's totally dope. Um, and that's awesome, man. Like, you, you feel like you got lightning bolts shooting out your fingertips and stuff when that happens. So, like, if I were to fight for Ryzen, that'd be awesome. Um, it'd be a really good experience. Uh, but at the same time, you know, PFL uh, with with the tournament uh, format, that's awesome. I love tournaments. I love it. Fighting the Bellator tournament was, it was, it was still to this day, it was probably the most memorable thing I've done in my MMA career. Uh, even, even with the UFC, fighting in a tournament is awesome. So... Um, if I were to get that opportunity with the PFL, that'd be just uh, that'd probably be like the icing on the cake for my storied career. Just to give me that one more tournament, it's, uh, the opportunity to make that money, go out there, fight twice a night, one night, five times in one year. Let's go put on a show, bleed a little bit, and get some money. Yeah, absolutely, and I guess you know that's what you want. Has there been any, any interest from other promotions to on their side towards you yet? Have, has anybody reached out, talked to you at all? Nothing set in stone right now at all. Yeah. So um, I guess we'll probably know. Weeks from now, you know, yeah. days from now, weeks from now, right now. So, uh, you know, we're, we're talking to him, and uh, we'll see. Okay, a couple more quick things before I let you go here. Uh, something I'm going to throw out of left field to you. Uh, Bare Knuckle FC is coming to New England uh, in a couple months. I think it's going to be up in New Hampshire somewhere. Do you ever think about doing something like that? I mean, they, they seem to pay good money, that promotion. Uh, you know, not just, just for people watching at home, it's not the promotion that robbed everybody. It's another promotion yeah. that's treated their fighters apparently pretty well. Uh, yeah. Would you ever be interested in a one-off with them? 100%. My yeah. wife would not be, but yeah. I would definitely. Uh, my wife doesn't want me to box. Uh, although I'm, I'm very good at boxing, she doesn't want me to box. Um, and I think because of the head drama thing and like yeah, you got yeah. a kid on the way. Sure. And like I'm mildly smart still. So, um, But uh, that being said, we're trying to get Parker Porter a fight right now. Parker's got really good boxing, especially for heavyweight. Um, his jab is awesome. So we're trying to get him matched up. And, um, you know, if, if bare knuckle boxing was in the future, I wouldn't, it wouldn't be like a 10 fight contract or yeah. anything like that. My wife would probably be like, we're one and done and just 
stay home after that, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, how much how much longer do you plan on doing this for? I know that you had talked a little bit about retirement before you made it to the UFC. Uh, you know, are you just going to sit back, see what comes to you, and, uh, you know, keep enjoying the ride until, uh, you know, it becomes time? Yeah. This ride is fucking fun, man. I feel like I'm on this roller coaster, and then all of a sudden it's done, and then I just stay on, and more people get on, and I keep going. So... Um, and I'm, I'm enjoying the ride, and uh, you know, we'll see what happens. Awesome. EFL, call me. All right. You heard him. Uh, that's it. That's all I got for you, Matt. I appreciate your time today. You want to tell everybody at home where they can find you on social media? Anything else you want to get off your chest? You know where to find me. You know where to find me. I'll tag him in everything. So I uh, appreciate your time again, Thanks. Matt. I appreciate it. Thanks, man.